the Australian Cup is next. This is a one more two furlong group one on the turf. And at the top we've got Guide to the Unexplained for Leon Van Rensburg. He's also got Johan Vermeer, who was a winner last week. Mix of Intrigue, Joshua Sutherland, Thunder Thor for Craig Allen, Vidono, Darren Thompson, World Class, David Hooley, Awaken at Dawn, Craig Allen, Bella Brandy, Joshua Sutherland, Dakar Girl, Dan Hughes, Francesca Kamani, back for about a third season, I think, for Dan Hughes, Frissa Project for Michael Scarlett, Green Mantle for Craig Beckwith, Jane Seymour, a winner last week for Kevin Meenan, Carnelian Great for David Robertson, also won last week, Drayden Van Dyke for Paul Rhodes, has also got Star of Surprendra, Leafard Lux for David Robertson, and Poe Valley for Martin Leedham, that's your full field then, Big, big field, and away they go. And some of these draw wide are going to be in trouble on this first turn. You'll probably forget the chances of Poe Valley and Drayden Van Dyke, and they're going to, unless they're going to really tuck in and make up that ground later on. But it's Johan Vermeer who's gone into the lead, immediately pressed by Star of Surprendra, and Star of Surprendra is going to just dispute the lead as Johan Vermeer seems to be pretty insistent on keeping it through the first furlong or so. So they're already through two furlongs, and Johan Vermeer is the leader from Star of Surprender in second. Liffard looks the grey is in third. Then comes Vidono back in fourth. After that one comes another grey, Francesca Camani. Then comes Awaken at Dawn and Guide to the Unexplained. Thunder Thor is next. Then Banner Brandy and Carnelian Great is after that mix of intrigue and Green Mantle Po Valley. who got away with that bad draw and got itself into the mid pack. Fresser Project is just the back marker then. But it's Johan Vermeer, who's two lengths clear of the grey. Liffard looks in second. Vidono is third. The second of the greys, Francesca Camani is next on the outside of um, Bella Brandy, the star of Suprendra, who's also there as well. Then also Carnelian, great mix of intrigue. Poe Valley not too far away. Awaken at dawn is after that one. Drayden Van Dyke also recovered from the bad draw. He's not in a bad position now, but it's Johan Vermeer in the lead, being chased by two greys. Liffard looks and Francesca Camani, star of Suprendra, took between the two of them then Bella Brandy and Vidono Carnelian Great is next then Poe Valley trying to come through from the pack also Guide to the Unexplained has just dropped right out the back but it's Johan Vermeer who's in the lead Johan Vermeer being pressed now by Star of Surprendra Francesca Cavani is next Vidono's looking for racing room then after that one comes Liffard looks Dakar girl Bella Brandy world class is after that but now Johan Vermeer is being challenged by Star of Surprendra these two are in a ding dong as they hit the furlong pole it's Star of Surprendra on the outside Johan Vermeer on the inside, Francesca Camani trying to come round the outside, trying to burst between the two is Vidono, it's almost three in the line as they race up towards the line, Vidono and a fast finishing David Robertson also in the centre of the track and it's close and Dakar Girl as well was totally obscured by David Robertson's horse and Dakar Girl may have got up to take it it's mighty close it's Vidono, Dakar Girl, Carnelian Great, Star of the Supreme they've finished in a heap and Vidono Girl is the Vidono is the winner for Darren Thompson. Dakar and Girl for Dan Hughes and Lucky second. Carnelian Great also finished well for David Rawson third. Star of Surprendra for Paul Rhodes was fourth. And Liffard Looks for David Robertson was fifth. And I think I'm gonna pass you over to Leon for the next few races.